Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode. We're in a very chilly South Carolina at the moment, but don't worry, this week's episode is from Bermuda. Now we are about to go dive together and explore the largest shipwreck in Bermuda, the Cristobal Colon. Now, when you translate Cristobal Colon into English, it's Christopher Columbus. So for all our American subscribers, you'll know why that name is very famous amongst the Spanish and the American populations. Now this is the largest shipwreck in Bermuda. It was an ex cruise ship before it sunk. 500 foot long cruise ship. It is awesome. You guys are gonna really enjoy exploring this awesome wreck in Bermuda. So let's go together and explore the largest shipwreck in Bermuda, the Cristobal Colon. Let's go. Really bossy. Here you go. That's a medium BCD. Thank you. And then wait a second. Oh, you moved. Regulators. And that's it for now. Thank you. Okay. Do we not know who's coming? No, we don't know any sizes. Okay. Thanks. What? You're gonna like pull me, set it up or something? No pressure felt whatsoever. I'm gonna do it on this side. Oh uh, no, that was a better side though. Why? Okay. Let's oh, go. Sorry. Set up or something? No, just take your time. You're gonna have to put this on um, expert speed. What's it called? Level up speed. Um, fast speed forward. Like fast forward. Fast. Speed ramp. No, like speed it up. Put it like two times. Yeah, two times speed. Because I'm not trying to go quick, or else he won't get his gear set up properly. Which is not. Pull back. Push it. <laughs> <laughs> Too fast. And cut. I get away. Had a good week. <laughs> Go yeah. give us a wave, guys. They're struggling in the West. I'm just very high ability in trains. Yeah. There's uh, so many things that you ever do that I don't tell you. Come on, bro. Yeah, I thought not. Sam, you look like you have a nightmare. You look like you have that tough time. Let's join the club. Welcome to Bermuda's biggest shipwreck, the Cristobal Colon. Now, the Cristobal Colon was built in 1923 by the Sociedad Español de Construcción Naval for the Transatlantic Spanish Line. This luxury cruise liner is the largest of Bermuda's shipwrecks. This massive Spanish vessel, the Cristobal Colon, weighed over 10,000 tons and had three decks and was nearly 500 feet long with a 61 foot beam. She was one of the most luxurious cruise ships of her time. She mainly operated between New York and Central America, but at the time of her sinking, the Cristobal Colon, which also translates to Christopher Columbus in Spanish, the Cristobal Colon and the 160 exclusively male crew with no pastures were traveling from Cardiff, Wales to Vera Cruz in Mexico, reportedly to collect arms for the Royalists in the Spanish Civil War. Now on October 25th, 1936, while steaming ahead at 15 knots, the captain, Navarro Delgado, mistook an offshore communication tower for Gibbs Lighthouse, which had not been working while being repaired, starting on October 10th. Unfortunately, as a result, the ship crashed into the coral reef just east of North Rock, eight miles north of Bermuda. When all attempts failed to pull the massive liner off the reef, she was salvaged, with furnishing, paintings and fittings brought ashore and sold at auction. Luckily, there was no loss of life. Now, 
This story of this amazing shipwreck is famous because it is one of the stories of piracy in Bermuda. Bermuda had a long history of piracy. So what happened here, every night, locals would take their boats to the wreck and return with, with bags full of loot. Literally hundreds of Bermudians took part in this pir piracy act. Yet only 13 were ever caught. Funny how that works in Bermuda. One particular funny story tells of a man who was brought to court accused of stealing a radio from the Christabel, to which the would-be thief replied to the judge, why would I steal a radio from a Spanish ship? I can't even speak Spanish. By 1939, the ship had broken into two and there were further salvage operations to retrieve the metal parts, including the propellers, and also eventually the ship sunk because the empty shell of the ship was used by British and American forces to practice bombing during World War II. In Bermuda, there was a US air base and also a Royal Navy dockyard, and they decided to use it as ta target practice. Practice for their planes, practice for their ships, huge, massive 500 foot long cruise ship sitting still on top of the reef. So of course, this is why when we're diving around this site, this wreck is so broken up because it has been absolutely destroyed over the years due to bombing practice. But you got to say, the fact that locals were going out every day for piracy is just an incredible story because there's a saying in Bermuda that every household in Bermuda has an artifact from the Christabel Cologne because people ransacked it so much and it was so widespread that every household has an ornament or a piece of the shipwreck, including portholes. I've even been to some people's houses who have portholes. It is a crazy story, but it's fun to think about that this is what went on. But this is an utterly beautiful wreck. It is stunning. As we said, as you've seen while well, we've been diving along around here, it is fully scattered across all the reef due to being bombed. We have these huge drive shafts. These are the iconic drive shafts of the cruise ship. You have the huge turbines here and both drive shafts pointing towards the stern of the ship. And this is the iconic shot of the Christabel Cologne. It is a beautiful wreck to explore. There is life everywhere on it. You have loads of parrotfish. We had ocean triggerfish, which are very rare to see in Bermuda. So it's awesome to see one on this dive. And then you look around and you can see the divers just love this wreck. You have so many boilers about, winches about. In the stern, there's some structure where we saw the lionfish earlier, but there's actually a bathtub still sitting in the wreck as well. It's a phenomenal wreck to explore and has so much history. And it is scattered over a huge area. So this is why it's so broken up, but you never know what you could find in the nooks and crannies at this dive site. It is unbelievable to come and explore. Now being Bermuda's largest wreck, unfortunately it is scattered, so you don't get the experience of a cruise ship, but it is what it is. It is a cruise ship and you realize the scale of it because you can dive this dive site so many times and find new parts of it scattered across the reef. If you go more west, more east, there's just so much to see and still find. I've been diving this wreck for years and I keep finding things each time I go exploring it. And you can even see Abby, the owner of Beyond Fitness in Bermuda, loving this dive, giving me a fist bump as she goes past with her son and her son's friend with Holly. This dive is spectacular. And as we make our way across to the bow of the wreck, where you can see the anchor line chain holes, everything on it, and how the ocean has completely coralized this incredible shipwreck. It is a phenomenal dive. You can dive it with Dive Bermuda at Grotto Bay. They go out regularly to dive this dive site. They're the only dive center that really gets out to this dive regularly. And it's definitely worth the trip because you get to dive the beautiful North Rock, the most northerly reef in the Atlantic. It's the second most northerly reef in the world as well, after one in Japan. So it's definitely worth it and I'll tag a video just up here 
so you can check out what North Rock is because you dive North Rock after, which is a beautiful dive site. So it's definitely worth the trip out, dive the Christabel Cologne and also North Rock. But I really hope you guys enjoyed diving with us on this incredible wreck and enjoyed the history as well. But as always guys, thank you so much and we'll see you next week as we continue exploring the Christabel Cologne, the largest wreck in Bermuda, a cruise ship.